All right, I met on one of these jetties. Incredible, incredible formations. These line the entire coast of Lake Ontario along here. There's so many this way and so many this way. This whole shoreline is like this. Okay, these massive megalithic blocks placed, placed so perfectly as to fit together. I think this is, uh, I, I don't think we're being told the truth at all about the shoreline. But anyway, the point of me being here is I want to show you where the gully, Gates Gully, that I explored personally last weekend, where it drains into the lake here. And you can see on either side are these bluffs. Okay, I believe they're over 300 feet high at the, top, the highest point. Anyway, this gully cuts up in between there. So this ravine is extremely steep the whole way up. And so I personally can imagine this at one point to have been city building okay, civilization. And this waterway where the trail goes is somehow a small pocket of survival, as well as these uh, from some cataclysm that dustified eventually these bluffs uh, and created what they are now. So uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, I've had some people ask, well, can't people bring those huge blocks in on the ravine or on the gully? Well, m maybe, sorry, my throat is dry, it's a little sore today. Maybe, uh, but if you understand how deep this gully really is, and it goes about a kilometer and a half back, okay, it's, it's impossible to imagine, you know, however long ago, uh, for people to have gotten any sort of machinery, much less a, a donkey and wagon, to drop these things off. There's just nowhere to go. It's it's uh, it's like a, just a cut right through. So I imagine this to at one point have been a waterway, perhaps an entrance. All right, H who knows? Uh, but I just wanted to sort of give you the lay of the land here and, uh, and explain that a little bit more. All right, let's. Uh, hike. Okay, and this is interesting. I actually hadn't looked over here. Check out uh, the exit <laughs> of the creek from Gates Gully. Okay, there's the megalithic blocks, the wall over there. Uh, I, I stood up there the first time. Here's the exit wall here, there. But look here. Tell me, somebody created, if somebody intentionally built these blocks like this to help Reduce the erosion down through the bluffs. Like, hello? Does this make any sense whatsoever? And there's bricks all over the place here. So there's a cross section of the beautiful shoreline, and I'm standing on the other side of it, right here. It's just incredible. Um, that looks like it's a something, <laughs> not natural. So yeah, this doesn't really add up right here, at all. Okay. Especially when the creek is such a trickle as it is now. Oh, and there's a huge piece of metal. Oh my gosh. Coming right out of the, the bluff, the, the shoreline. Right there. Can you see that? All right, so tell me if this adds up. Okay, am I just on the on the edge of the shoreline? So they say. And there's a huge honking piece of bent metal coming right out. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's nothing to see here. Farther down the shore, the, like the bricks just pour out of the shoreline. And there's a huge piece of metal Okay, just at the base of this little trail. But yeah, there's nothing to see here. This is just, this is just natural. It's just natural. <laughs> That's it. 